Welcome to this look at a new mod pack on Farming Simulator 19 with me, Mr. CLEP. The modular BGA system by Caster DSA. I did say in yesterday's mod review, the second one, that I was going to do this separately because there's quite a few parts and I was already quite up on the time limit for doing the mod review. So I said I would do this separately. This is a 47.54 megabyte download but it does give you the ability to completely create your own biogas plant, biogas system in whatever space you've got available in various different sizes, multiples of sizes. Um, it's actually, it's a very smart and clever idea. Smart and clever being the same thing, but it's a very clever idea. I really like this. We often get BGAs and that's fine. They're often incredibly expensive. Which again is also fine the fact that we can mix and match and build up our own is a nice idea so what we'll start off with is the main units now your bit your biogas plant will need this whatever you do it is the main tip in point that feeds the digesters and the tanks this comes with your pipe for your digestate tank so this setup and there are three of these in different sizes is all you need technically you can get away with just this you've got your feed in and you've got your digestate out this also comes with a, a digestate tank which is hidden underground whatever however you may want to look at it so this first one is the 100 kilowatt it's um, I've got a, a 50,000 litre capacity on the intake, so 50,000 litres and it will stop feeding. It comes with a digestate tank of 580,000 litres, so it will continue to process and you will get digestate until that tank fills up, or you can empty the tank, however you want to go about it. It will process any silage or anything that goes into this, it will process at 10 litres per second. And it will take your regular types now I've got a few here because <laughs> I've, I've placed quite a few now some of them will do more than others the base unit the 100 kilowatt one which I've got now it will do your silage it will do grass um, and hay but it won't do straw it will do manure but it won't do slurry so the 100 kilowatt one is is a little bit more limited plus it won't do potato or sugar beet so it will do your silage your grass hay and manure that's it for the 100 kilowatt one so that's a little bit more limited but it will do it and like i say it comes with a 580,000 litre tank it's 18 slots to place to place that one and we'll have a look at the extra tanks and various different things available in just a second. But what I will do is get that process. And now you can load these up in any way you want. You can do it with buckets, you can do it with conveyor belts. You know, these are raised, so um, they will need to be fed in some way like this. These aren't on the ground, so you can't tip into these with a trailer. But as you can see, that is now processing what I put in. And like I said, it will process at 10 litres per second. The next up, same setup, but a slightly different design, slightly larger one. This is the 200 kilowatt. This will allow 80,000 litres put into here. This will process at 12 litres per second, 19 slots. And this one comes with a 1.2 million litre digestate tank. So again, you can just have this. You don't have to have anything else with it. This one, however, will do potato, sugar beet, grass, hay, silage, grass, hay, straw, manure and slurry. So this will do everything. So this is the next step up. Again, like the other one, we'll get it processing. We'll have a look at morning store in a minute. But as I said, I wanted to... Um, I wanted to do this separately because there's quite a lot to it and it depends sort of how much of it, not an aficionado, but how much of, of a kind of 
a setup you want to go with. Like I say, in essence, what I'm doing now, um, means that I'm, I'm away and running. I, I don't, you, know, you will still get paid at midnight. It doesn't get paid now. But you don't have to own a plot of land, or you have to own a, you own a plot of land to put it on, but you don't have to own the biogas plant. You know, like I say, we have got placeable biogas plants already. But this does make life a little bit easier. Which brings me on to the last one. The last one is the 300 kilowatts. I'm going to put some in this. 300 kilowatt, much bigger tank on this one as well. Does have a digestate tank too. Let's fill that up. So this next one, the 300 kilowatt, has a 100,000 litre capacity. So this main input will take 100,000 litres before it stops you putting any more in until it's processed some. Um, did I say that? It will process at 12 litres per second. So 10 litres per second, 12 litres per second. This one will process at 18 litres per second, so a much quicker processing rate. 100,000 litre capacity into this. 22 slots on console. This also comes with a 1.5 million litre digestate tank. So 580,000 litre tank, 1.2 million litre tank for digestate, 1.5 million litre tank. We'll get onto the prices and stuff in a minute. So again, if you wanted to, you could just place this. You don't have to have anything else. Because it's processing, and I'll get my digestate, And I don't actually need to have anything else. So if we look into the menu now, we scroll across, you will see, because they're all combined at the moment, the emblem there for the digestate, it's processing. So we are getting digestate as a byproduct already. At midnight, we'll get paid. So I don't actually need anything else. But let's go into the menu. Under placeables, under miscellaneous is where you'll find them all. So the BGA 100 kilowatt is 200,000 to buy. Not too bad at all. Um, like I said, it's 18 slots. The BJ200 kilowatt is 350,000 to buy. That's 19 slots. The BJ300 kilowatt is 500,000 to buy and is 22 slots. But then we get these extras that come with it and you can put these right up close. It's designed to all be modular. That's the whole point of it modular BJ system and all joined together. So we've got the fermenter plant made of concrete and we've got fermenter metal angular. Now this is the part of the building that does the processing, does the fermenting. As the gas is then being made and produced you get the byproduct of digestate which goes off into the tank. The gas then goes into the gas storage buildings or silos or cylinders whatever you want to call them. So each one of these obviously has a cost implication the fermenter plant concrete is 18 slots. The fermenter plant angular is 19 slots. And we've got two gas storage cylinders, 14 metres, concrete and metal. Um, the metal one is 13 slots. The concrete one is 14 slots. And then we've got gas storage. Now that does say 14 metres, so that's supposed to say 22. We've got concrete gas storage, 22 metre, and that should also say, like I say, 22 metre. Um, these are again 13 and 14 slots. I think it's that way around, but it's only one slot difference between them anyway. And then we've also got an additional generator. So you can have a generator on there as well, if you want to. So you can mix and match all of these things. Now all of these as well, from the fermenter plant on, pay you a certain amount per hour so that covers the daily cost so the daily cost of all this stuff is then covered within all of that um, by these paying out now if i've got these written down correctly the fermenter plant round pays out five on easy four on normal three on hard per hour the metal one five four and two so five on easy four on normal two on hard the gas storage, uh, 14 metre concrete is 5, 4 and 2. The metal one is 5, 4 and 2, yep. The 22 metres are 6, 5 and 3. 6, 5 and 3. And the generator is 3, 2 and 1. The generator is 8 slots on console. So what I'm going to do is grab, let's grab the fermenter angular. So what I'm going to do 
if you wanted to, and this is the point, is, is building it up from here. If you want it to look like it, you know, it's supposed to or whatever, because you've got the pipe coming out the back, what you can do is bring this all up together, put it kind of like that. It, again, any way around you want, it's a type tube, it allows you to do that. So once that's now placed, let's jump out of that. So already it looks like now it's going from the input into the fermenting building. That's, I mean, I could be a little bit more neater with that, but that pipe goes into that, that's fine. I can then come back on and I can add on a gas one if I want to. So if I want to go with, I don't know, we'll go with the metal 14. So the metal 14 has pipes on it as well. I can bring that around. Again, any orientation I want, any direction I want. It's entirely up to me. Now, these pipes at this end, uh, where are we? This side. Sit off the ground. These pipes here. So when you place it, you might want to try and place it on the lip or up against something that's got a bit of a raised section. Otherwise, they're kind of left in the air a little bit. But again, you can put it any direction you want. I think I've just attached that to the generator, but again, it doesn't really matter. So we're already building our biogas plant up. See, that's very high off there. It needed to be off of something else a little bit higher. So it just takes a bit of fiddling around for your placement and getting things just how you want them. I could have probably brought that over and had that coming directly out the top of the building or any way I want, but you get the idea for the modularity. Now you could just have a fermenting plant, one tank there if you wanted to, and you could have two of these, or you could have one of each, or you could have, like I say, the whole point is it's modular. It's all absolutely wonderful. Love it. Um, so what I've done a bit further along, I've built a bigger complex and a smaller complex. This one is a 200 kilowatt generator at the front, tanks at the side, fermenting plant behind, the round fermenting plant. I did put a square fermenting plant on as well, and then we've got a 22 metre gas tank behind. And then this one over here, I went with a much smaller setup, it depends on the space you've got. You might not even want to use these. You might decide, oh, I'm going to put a couple of silos or something that looks a little bit nicer. But you see what I mean though as well? That could have done with being a little bit further over or, you know, twisted a little bit or some other way around. So that one is just my input, my gas, and a generator. It probably does need a fermenting plant. But again, you could mix and match this with other buildings if you wanted to. It doesn't have to necessarily be the ones that come with the pack. So what I'll do to finish off is just to show that if we go under here, press L3, 580,000 litre capacity on the 100 kilowatt, I've got 1,722 litres of digestate. digestate. So I, I don't necessarily need all the buildings, I know this one's fairly close. That one hasn't got any buildings around it whatsoever. 1.2 million litre capacity of digestate, 2,424 litres in it already. Now, bearing in mind, I put the same quantity in each of these, all bar a couple of litres. So you can already see the 200 kilowatt has got more digestate processed already than the 100 kilowatt. I'm assuming this one will have even more. There you go, 3,168. 1.5 litre capacity, 1.5 million litre capacity for digeste. Um Yes, it's a little bit heavy on the initial megabyte download, but I think the, the ability that it gives you to just mix and match and build it however you want is absolutely fantastic. You can go as massive as you like or as small as you like. Like I say, just if you want just a 100 kilowatt, just that and that, in the corner of your yard, you absolutely can. That's a bit more limited on what you can put into it. The next one up, obviously you can put a lot more into that, including potato and sugar uh, sugar beet. Potato and sugar beet pays out, was it 450 I think it was? So if we scroll across... Yeah, 450 for a thousand of potato and sugar beet. 360 for manure and then we kind of prices go down, we get to slurry um, manure and slurry, it's 180. 
but yeah and they, they all combine so your digest tape will show as one combined amount but I like this as a pack I think it's very very clever very very nice indeed uh, so there you go that's the modular BGA system by Castor DSA I hope you found this useful and informative in some way shape or form if you have give us a like if you don't subscribe yet please do if you want to leave a comment feel free and if you want to share this video then please be my guest whatever you should choose to do thanks for watching